And as I was saying for everybody else, it's a very, very strong video, I guess. So uh, here it is. It's the video. It's in the it's in the in the, in the executive English channel, which is a very, very it's uh, it's beginning. You know, we didn't have a channel. That's why probably we have. But uh, we have in here the class. It's available for everybody. If you can see. And also, I have the link in here. And it's a very, very great, great quality video. You know, we, it's a very, very, very great quality video. And it's very, very important so that everybody can really watch it again. And if you didn't understand anything from yesterday or something, I don't know, wasn't clear enough, I have already sent the link. It's something very, very important to, to probably. Uh, I don't know. I didn't understand something. Okay, you can see the video. It's a very, very strong video. So we have everything here. So that's the link in the video. So let's let's go on in terms of uh, all the advantages and disadvantages of the reading passage. Uh, so we have, and let's see the TOEFL examination. We have uh, we have the official uh, TOEFL uh, program. It's something very official, very very. Uh, very, very, uh, I'd say, uh, very, very important to really see the official examination. Very, very strong. So we have, uh, and I have many programs. Probably I should, probably I should, uh, I don't know, I should uh, close some of them because uh, they're making it uh, probably, and probably a little bit slower. So, uh, we have this, uh, this, so we'll save it so that we don't have any problems. And in terms of the, the calls, I guess it's being strong. And we have in here the program, okay? So I really, really get it in terms of uh, all of the people in here. So uh, we have the program. So uh, can anybody, please can, uh, I don't know, can, uh, I don't know, can uh, please, uh, Ivania, can you tell me if you have the program? Do you have the program? Do you have the program? Uh, like the, the top one? Yeah, this, do you have it? Um, not in this computer. I just, um, okay, well, but I had some problems, so. Okay, but you were, just, you were sent the link, right? You were sent the link. Yeah, I'm going to download it. Okay, okay, that's something, oh, okay, that's great. So everybody has the link. It's very important to have the link. So let's see, and if you don't have the link, please tell me something very, very important. So we have in here, let's see the reading passage. Okay, we're gonna restart the section. We're gonna restart the section. It says uh, the reading passage measures, measures your, your ability to understand academic passages in English. Most questions are worth one point, but the last questions for each passage is worth more than one point. Okay, but this was the last, the last version. However, it's uh, sort of the same. Okay, so we have the passage. You know, it's something that in this case it, it's about uh, politics. You know, so it's, a, it's a, the development of the modern presidency in the United States began with Andrew Jackson, who swept to power in 1829 and the head of the Democratic Party in several till. 1837. During his administration, he immeasurably enlarged the power of the presidency. The president is the direct representative of the American people to lecture the Senate when it opposed him. Uh, he was elected by the people and is responsible to them. With this declaration, Jackson redefined the character of the president's of the presidential office and its relationship to the people. Okay, so it's very, very strange. but you can also skip it. You know, you can also skip. So what I would recommend basically uh, is to read the passage first. Okay, you should read it first. You should read it. First. You should finish it. Okay, so you read the passage. You read all the passage, and uh, you basically read the passage. You understand the passage, and then you go to the questions. Okay. So very basically, you need to understand the passage uh, first. You need to read the passage first, understand the passage so that you can understand the context. Okay, and then we'll answer the question. So it says, during the Jackson's term, his opponents had gradually come together for, to, to form the weak party. Weeks and Democrats held different attitudes toward the changes brought about 
by the market banks and commerce. Look at the Democrats that it's view society as a continuing conflict between the people, farmers, planners, workers, and a set of greedy aristocrats. The paper money aristocracy of bankers and investors manipulated the banking system for their own profit, Democrats claim, and sap the nation's beauty by encouraging speculation and the desire for sudden unearned wealth. The Democrats wanted to re re reward of the markets without sacrificing the features of a simple agrarian republic. They wanted the wealth that the market offered without the competitive, without sacrificing the features, without the competitive change in society. The complex dealing, the dominance of urban centers, and the loss of independence that came with it. Okay, so we read all the passage, okay, basically, very basically, we read the passage. And then we go to the section and then we really answer the questions. Okay, so we have many types of, and let's see, okay, but, and uh, we we should take notes. Uh, I would say uh, taking notes is very, very important, but in terms of uh, the listening section, okay, so uh, you shouldn't take a lot of notes in here. Okay, you shouldn't take a lot of notes in terms of the reading section. You should, first of all, read the passage first, understand it very, very completely, very strongly. And then you should answer the questions and uh, under, uh, having understood the passage. And uh, you shouldn't take a lot of notes, to be honest with you. Why would you need notes? You know, because all the information is in here. So uh, in any point, believe me, and that's something true, in any point you can see all the passage in there. So why should you take notes? You shouldn't take notes, you know, it's like, it's a waste of time to take notes during he immeasurably in large uh, I, I say greatly you know immeasurably it's very easy this one you know and then we have uh, what what is the beginning and what what is the meaning okay so we have taking notes and uh okay so we have some time management tips okay so very basically you shouldn't skip questions Okay, uh, if you don't understand the question, this very, very smart advice. If you don't understand this, I don't know. According to paragraph one, the presidency of Andrew Jackson was especially significant for each of the following reasons. Okay, I don't know. Let's say we, we, we didn't get it. Okay, so we say, mm, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. You should read it. If you don't know, uh, Mark, the, the one you believe, I don't know, whatever, you know, and, and then go on. You know, you shouldn't like say, I don't know, I'll, I'll come back because you, you won't come back. You know, it's something very, very important. Uh, so uh, don't get stuck. Don't waste too much time in one question. You're taking away time from the others. Don't jump around the, the same thing and review your answers at the end. If you have, uh, if you have, uh, if you have, uh, if you have uh, the many, many, okay. So review your answer okay. questions. Okay, uh, okay, uh, go on, go on. Okay. Um, for example, what can I do? I have this problem every time. What can I do whenever I don't understand the meaning of a word? Sometimes these kind of reading are quite technical, and it's pretty tough to understand these arcane words. Is there any advice for me to know what to do? I okay i guess i guess the, the in terms of words so as i said and that's something very very important uh i guess and i believe i very very strongly believe that uh the words because there are people who say okay i don't i am not a good reader you know there's some people who say that oh he's not a good reader he's good at math or something like that, that that's something that it really doesn't it's not like that you know and uh, either you know vocabulary and you'll understand everything or either you don't know vocabulary and you'll probably get stuck so the the very very important answer is that you should really really try to memorize many words and that's something that we will give you uh tomorrow and i'll send you the anki anki flashcards so that you can start memorizing the word but if you don't really understand the word and you uh, if you're in a point where you don't really understand it I guess there's some sort of, uh, probably, I don't know, let's go to some question in terms of uh, understanding the word. Uh, for instance, well, inclination is something, that, uh, 
it's very, very easy. You know, concept is probably very easy. Let's go to a hard one, you know? Let's go to uh, this way. Okay, despondent, you know, despondent. What is despondent, you know? So let's 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 really analyze this uh, this uh, uh, this word. So it says joy and sadness are experienced by people in all cultures around the world. But how can we tell when other people are happy or despondent? So very basically, here you guys, happy or despondent probably is sad. You know, so I would say very, 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 uh, I don't know, in terms of uh, intuitive, uh, I have an intuitive feeling that it's unhappy, but I know for a fact that it's unhappy, you know, despondent is a word that I, uh, it's basically in the flashcards, you know, it's basically there. But uh, it's very, very basically because you have uh, two words. Uh, does that help? Yeah, it helps. Um, I mean, it's that I have. To yeah, it's, it's memorize, as you said. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, there is somebody else who wants to talk. Okay, David, go on. Yes. Uh, what is your name? English talk. Sorry. Uh, can you repeat that? Uh, what is your name? English talk. Your name? English talk. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, I well, I don't know his name, but I think he's got a point. Um, oh, oh, you're talking I about think, okay. Uh huh. Okay, you talk about the point. I think uh, some many of readings of scientific or technical indeed because that's the point. They want to, they want you to figure out by yourself the meaning. Okay. So you have to analyze the context. Okay. So uh, you you said that some some uh, some are very technical because they want you to analyze the meaning, right? Yeah, that's what okay. I mean. Okay. Can you repeat that without using because without using? Can you use another word? Uh, do you do the fact. Okay, can you repeat the whole yeah. sentence? Let's uh, let's practice a little bit. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, when your readings are te technical or scientific, you do the fact they want you. You to do the fact that you do the fact that you do the fact that they want you to figure out the meaning by yourself. Excellent, excellent. That's an excellent. That's an excellent. Uh, that's an excellent. Uh, point from the bid he's very very uh, he basically said the very very smart things and yeah that's right they basically want you to understand the point and uh, of course it'd be easier to know all the words and that's something we're gonna try that you understand everything uh, nevertheless uh, we really really uh, need to understand the the, the, the context you know it's uh, sort of uh, logical. Thinking, but believe me, if you know the vocabulary, you'll understand everything very basically. So you'll understand a lot of things if you know the vocabulary. And uh, that's something that be really, really is very, very important, you know. So uh, uh, we have many, many types of, uh, we have many, many types of questions. The first, the first type is vocabulary questions, okay? So we have many different types. But these types, these types uh, belong inside one, one, one. Uh, let's say one branch. You know, so we have many types, many, many types. The first one is vocabulary questions. For instance, uh, that's a very important. This is a vocabulary question. We need to know vocabulary. You know, so it says the development of the modern presidency in the United States began with Andrew Jackson, who was to power in 1829 at the head of the Democratic Party survived and served until 1837 during the administration he immeasurably oh immeasurably large so i'd say greatly but uh, choose the synonym for a word or phrase or phrase or phrase use context close because they may oh, you should never uh, since they may be words you don't know high frequency questions two to five the answer has to work in context and meaning. It has to work in context and meaning. You know, so it, it should have, so it, we have in here, 
the thing no immeasurably it's greatly so uh we really and this is you'll have around two to five questions like vocabulary question okay you'll have two to five in each test okay so uh you'll have i mean in, uh, sorry i mean in each passage you'll have two to five okay so we have another type that's the first type. the, the second type is detail or factual questions find a piece of information or the fact high frequency two to five two to four per passage Find the keyword in the question. Be careful not to choose a wrong answer because of the wrong detail. Sometimes more than one answer. So uh, let's say the development of the modern president say the United States began with Andrew Jackson in 19, in 1829. And he served, he was a very strong and very smart president, by the way. During his administration, he measurably the large part of the presidency. Oh, he was very, very strong. Uh, so uh, he's very, very, uh, as we said, he's very, very strong. He, he basically was uh, was like uh, probably he was the Napoleon of uh, of the U.S. The Napoleon in terms of uh, the the basic strength that he had. So it says in Q, according to paragraph one. The presidency of Andrea was especially significant for which of the following reasons. The president gra granted a position, a portion of his power to the Senate. Is this correct? No, it's not correct. I'm sorry. It's not correct. Why? Because it says that he immeasurably, greatly enlarged the power of the presidency, meaning that he was, let's say, like uh, the dictators. We have many dictators. Right, they they get in, in the many many countries like for instance, uh, they probably let's say I don't know Russia, and in Russia you have Putin who is very very strong and very very I would say very smart. So he's very basically a very strong person and he measurably large the party. That's true. So that means that he didn't uh, grant any portion of his power to the Senate. Okay, that's very very logical. The president began to address the Senate on a regular basis. So is that true? No, it's not, because he lectured, meaning he addressed, address and lectures are actually probably the same in the Senate. Like basically he uh, had one, uh, one lecture where he said that he was elected by the people. He should be the one that is in charge, basically. So he, uh, it doesn't say in here that he uh, addressed the Senate regularly, okay? It was the beginning of the modern presidency in the U.S. So that's true, you know, because the, the development of the modern presidency began, yeah, that's true. And lastly, we have, it was the, the first time that the Senate had been known to oppose the president. Uh, no, no, it doesn't say that. It's not in here, but it was, no, it doesn't say that, okay? So it was not in here. So it says that he, it's not the first time, you know? So it's very, 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 and you know, very, very, probably very clear. So let's go to the next one. So uh, it says uses except type of question. Usually uses the word except or not. Ask about information that is not in the passage one per passage per passage or uh or zero or zero per passage you know it's very very rare to have those types of questions you know answer by elimination of options so let's say uh, let's have somebody read this please uh, do we have a volunteer so, so that that person can read this passage a volunteer How about uh, Carolina Reyes? Can you read, please? It doesn't matter if you read it well or or not. It doesn't matter. So you shouldn't be like, uh, I don't know how to read. Everybody knows how to read. Can you read it, please? Carolina, where is Carolina? 
Carolina, can you please read the passage? Okay. In the same way, in the same way, the special nature of the story was developed. To be competitive is winning God, meaning the most that has to have significant support among some the largest European society and what Okay, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, okay. So, what do you understand it till here? Can you tell me, please, uh, uh, what is the what is the, the point in here? Can you please explain? I don't know. In basic English, that's it have to be. Uh, in Spanish, can you tell me? Ok, entonces coméntame qué es lo que has entendido hasta este punto en español. Pues, uh, 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 ok, ¿qué más? Ok, so, eh, ¿quiénes son los Wicks y los Demócratas? ¿Qué son estos? ¿Qué son estos Wicks y Democrats? ¿Perdón? I, I don't know. You said I don't know. Uh, ok. In some ways, the social makeup of the two parties was similar. Do you know the meaning of this? En español. ¿Qué significa in some way the social makeup of the two parties was similar? ¿Qué significa eso? ¿De alguna forma? Mm, ¿Alguna forma? ¿Qué cosa? Oh. De alguna forma los dos partidos eran similares, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Ok, okay perfecto. Entonces, ¿qué dice? Que to be competitive in winning votes, Wicks and Democrats both have to have Significant support among farmers, the largest group in society and workers. ¿Qué significa esto? Así como yo te lo he dicho, sin importar de que haya muchos errores en español. Ok, entonces eh, vamos con alguien que, eh, a ver, entonces, eh, realmente no, no tienes que decirlo, pero creo que creo que hay algo de ruido, entonces. A ver, tal vez eh, Ivania, Ivania, por favor, Ivania, Ivania, entonces, eh, ¿qué significa hasta acá? What is the meaning? If you, if you can, you can tell it in English, otherwise it can be in Spanish. No, um, Parties have to be competitive to win votes. Exactly. So they have to have the support of certain groups of the study uh, as farmers or, well, and workers because of that defense to win the election or simple. Okay, that's great. So please. Anybody has some question in terms of words? Anybody has some question, please? If anybody till here has a question in terms of words, please type the word you don't understand. For instance, I don't know the meaning of, I don't know, let's say, uh, what is the meaning of, uh, of, uh, of uh, social makeup? So please type and send it to the group. If you have any question whatsoever in terms of the reading section, please type the word. I'll not be mad if you don't if you type words. I'll be mad if you don't type the words. Okay. What is the meaning of weak among? Okay. Uh, excellent. Excellent. 
that's very very smart okay so david the meaning of week weeks is that it, right now we have the republicans and the democrats right now in, in right now you know in today's world we have like el mas and the los democratas acá so in that period of time you had the weeks and you had the democrats there was no republicans till lincoln okay that's the means it's a political part that it's not no longer in here so among means uh what is it the weeks vote had among uh between so to be competitive in winning but we both had to have significant support uh between uh, meaning among meaning entre farmers they, they had to have social makeup uh, let's say it's uh, translated uh, to ma eh, maquillaje social, uh, meaning that uh, la forma en la que socialmente se componían estos partidos o, o, o el grupo social era similar. Ejemplo, acá, por ejemplo, en Bolivia, o en, eh, digamos, hablemos de otro país, por ejemplo, en, uh, en, uh, en Estados Unidos tenemos los republicanos y un partido que se llama los... Eh, the uh, uh, the libertarian, I think it's as the the Party Libertarian. They have basically ideas very similar to the Republican. So that's the point. So uh, let's go on. So please, uh, uh, can anybody else help from here? Let's say, uh, how about David? Can you read from neither? Neither party. Neither party could win an election by appealing exclusively to the rich or the poor. The Whigs, however, enjoyed disproportionate strength among the business and commercial classes. Whigs appealed to the planters who needed credit to finance their cotton and rice trade in the world market, to farmers who were eager to sell their sort of blouses and workers who wish to improve themselves okay let, let's stop in there so it is the need in, in terms of neither there are some people who say who say neither and there are some who say who, who say neither both are okay okay so both work and uh, that's something that works very very well neither or neither when I was working in Texas, like working there for a company, the people would say neither. And uh, it's correct also, you know. So neither, meaning ninguno de, uh, ningún partido, uh, could win an election by appealing. Appealing means uh, by, uh, let's say, uh, uh, by uh, appealing means uh, apuntar exclusivamente ninguno podía ganar una elección apuntando exclusivamente al rico o al pobre ninguno okay, apelando que... perdón apel, apelando exactamente apelando ninguno podía solo apelar exclusivamente al rico y al pobre. Okay, se están dando cuenta cómo era la situación no ningún partido podía hacer eso pero los weeks however that's bad enjoy disproportionate strength strength is strong among the business and commercial classes that means that the weeks had a lot of support from the businesses and commercial people you know like if you have a lot of support from the people who sell things you know the weeks appeal to planners uh, who needed credit to finance this is it's not uh, people say uh, 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 finance it's something very very important but uh, in english you have uh, it's finance. It's like uh, uh, finance. It's not finance. It's finance. Their cotton and rice trade in the in the world market. That means weeks appeal to planners. Uh, apelaron a los planters que necesitaban créditos to finance their cotton, algodón, and rice, arroz uh, 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 in the world market. They needed to sell. 
You know, so we have los plantadores que tienen que vender su algodón y su arroz y estaban créditos. Los weeks los apoyaban, digamos, ¿no? To farmers who were eager to sell their surpluses. Eh, eager. Eager is eh, ansioso. Ansioso. Eager. I'm eager to meet you. That's, I'm eager. I'm, I'm eager. I'm, I'm eager to... I'm anxious to sell. Okay? Eh, surplus. Surplus means profit. It's uh, like... El sur, el, 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 el surplus is uh, como el... Uh, Plus valía, creo que se dice, or, or surplus, uh, and to the workers who wish to improve themselves. So basically, the weeks appealed to planners who sold things and farmers who were uh, really wanted to sell their surpluses, uh, so basically businesses, and to workers who wish to improve themselves. So very, very basically, the workers who really wanted to grow. Okay, so can anybody else let, read from here? Let's say uh, Democrats. Uh, let's say uh, Jorge, please. Jorge, can, can you read from Democrats? Okay. Um, Democrats attract farmers isolated from the market. Uh, please oh, stop. Please stop. It's isolated. Isolated. Can you can you can you isolated. do it again, please? Can you do it again? Democrats. Democrats attract farmers isolated. Except. from the market or uncomfortable with it. Okay. Workers alienate from the emerging industrial system and rising entrepreneurs who wanted to break monopolies and open the economy to newcomers like themselves. The weeks were strongest in the town, cities and those or even that were fully integrated into market economy. Whereas Democrats dominated areas of semi semi subsistence farming that were more isolated, isolated and languishing economically. Okay, thank you very much. So we have Democrats attracted farmers. So we said that the weeks attracted uh, people who sold things abroad and who sold the. Uh, and to workers who wanted to improve, uh, it sounds like the Republicans right now. Uh, Donald Trump is a, a Republican, by the way, and Joe Biden is a Democrat, or Obama is a Democrat. So Democrats attract farmers isolated from the market. So farmers isolated, isolated means aislados, isolated. You can remember like solo, solo island from the market or uncomfortable with it. Meaning that all the farmers uh, that were like, didn't have a lot of business, they were, I don't know, they weren't selling a lot to the world or were very uh, angry. Uh, workers alienated from the emerging industrial system. Alienated means alienados. Meaning, meaning that they are, uh, uh, in those times you had the industrial system. You know, it was 1820s. So the industry is like right now the computer revolution that we have, or I, I say the uh, system uh, engineering revolution. In those times, it was uh, those times it was uh, industrial system. Like uh, I don't know, Andrew Carnegie was a very strong person in terms of industry. So there were workers who were alienated, meaning that they didn't do well. You know, the angry workers, in rising entrepreneurs entrepreneur who were, wanted to break monopolies and open the economy to newcomers like themselves. Meaning in, entrepreneurs who wanted to break monopolies, like not successful people, you know, and open the economy to like, they attracted all the angry people, the Democrats, you know, and they seem to attract all the happy people, the, the, one, the ones that were doing very well, the weeks attracted. And the ones that weren't doing very well, eh, the Democrats attracted. They were the strongest in towns, cities, and the, those rural areas that were fully integrated into the market economy. So meaning the weeks were strongest in towns that were integrated in the market economy. Meaning like New York right now is very integrated in the market economy. Uh, let's say, uh, Mexico City, very integrated. Let's say, I don't know, uh, Paris, very integrated. 
dos países. Whereas, eh, mientras que, whereas, mientras que, Democrats dominated areas of semi-subsistent farming that were more isolated and languishing economically. So, uh, as we said, Democrats very basically dominated in farming places that were isolated. I mean, uh, I don't know, for instance, in, uh, uh, you have in, right now in the U.S., I'm talking about the U.S. because, uh, I don't know, we are from all over, you know, we are from El Salvador, we are from Ecuador, we are from Bolivia. So I'm talking about the U.S. because everybody sort of knows the U.S., you know. And uh, if you really, if you go to the U.S. right now, you have, Places like, uh, I don't know, places like, uh, let's say, uh, I'd say uh, West Virginia, that is isolated. They, are, they aren't doing very well right now, you know? So that's isolated. And languishing, what is languishing? Uh, languishing, and very basically, this is in the Anki words that I'm gonna send you. And that means that it's uh, probably very slow, very slow. Monopolies means company. Everybody knows what, what's the meaning of monopolies. Okay, so according to paragraph six, Democrats were supported by all of the following groups except. So Democrats were the ones that were supported by angry people, remember that, except workers and happy with the new industrial system. This is right. However, they're asking for the except one, you know, so this isn't the answer. Planners involved in international trade, okay, this seems to be, Rising entrepreneurs, no, they were supported by rising entrepreneurs. It says literally in here. Okay, so this is not the answer. This is not the answer. Individuals seeking to open the economy to newcomers. So basically, the second one seems to be the answer, basically. So let's see, but it's uh, seeking the economy. So that's very something that it says in there. So it's basically this, you know, it's number two. So inference question. So we have. We have these that are, uh, that it very basically says that, uh, okay, so uh, please uh, can, whereas meaning of newcomers, okay, thank you very much. So eager, so eager was, uh, eager is anxious, whereas means, so very basically in terms of whereas, so we have, so we have right now, so let me show you right now in terms of uh, various things, in terms of, uh, terms of, uh, here, let's say, uh, we have total. So very basically, I would say, uh, where is this? Let's say, uh, uh, where is the classes? So I guess we have it in here. And basically we have the connectors. Okay, in terms of connectors, I showed you already all the connectors we have, and we love the connectors. It's very, very strong to have connectors. So as we as we said, these are the connectors that we have in terms of connectors. So uh, we have these connectors, and we're going to see these connectors very basically. And uh, these are the connectors. But whereas comes in here, whereas, where is whereas. So uh, very basically, we have these. And uh, we really, really want to know the all, but it means uh, mientras que, okay? So newcomers are the ones that are coming, uh, like the los nuevos que están llegando. The newcomers means like los nuevos que vienen. In this case, in the market, okay? So uh, let's say, so anybody can read this. So, uh, who's the one who didn't read? So please, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, I don't know who didn't participate somebody left the meeting okay that person didn't want to okay okay of course diana i'll send you this so please say uh, where is the so that i i don't forget you know because uh, probably i'll forget so i'll send you this immediately immediately so we have this very very strong i'll send you so that you can practice and the connectors believe me is something that we're gonna see connectors we're gonna see it so so strongly you're not going to believe how, how much you learn in connectors. So in terms of connectors, we have it very basically. So uh, Patricio, can you please read this uh, question? I'm sending this right now. So please, uh, from Weeks and uh, Democrats, till this point, till the end of the paragraph. Sure. Um, Weeks and Democrats support not only in their attitude towards market, 
talks about how active the central government should be in people's lives. Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, uh, till right till the end of the paragraph. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, despite Andrew Jackson's inclination to be a strong president, Democrats, as a rule, believe in the government. The government's role in the economy was to promote competition by destroying monopolies and special privileges. In keeping with this uh, philosophy of limited government, Democrats also rejected the idea that moral beliefs were the proper spur of uh, government action. Religion and politics, they uh, believe, should be kept clearly separated, separate, and they generally opposed uh, unitarian legislation. It is very, very well. It's very, very well read. The, the only thing is uh, sphere. That's the only word. But every everything else, I guess, monopoly is also. But everything okay. was uh, sort of uh, very, very strong. I'd say so. Uh, very, very. Uh, I, I, I'd say very, very strong. You know. So Whigs and Democrats differ, if any, not only in their attitudes toward Asia, toward Asia. Uh, the market, but also about how active the central government should be in people's life. So Whigs and Democrats were, in, in, were not in agreement in their attitudes toward the market. Okay, they were not. But also they were not in agreement about how active the central government should be. Like why? Despite Andrew Jackson's inclination to be a strong president, meaning strong means dictator, very basically, okay? Strong means dictator. Andrew Jackson was like, uh, as I said, Vladimir Putin, who's uh, a very strong president, or I'd say uh, Xi Jinping from China. So we have Andrew Jackson inclination. He was a strong president, I can tell you that, I know that. Democrat, as a rule, believe in limited government. So Democrats were sort of uh, for the unhappy and for limited government. That really seems like the Republicans right now. Okay, limited government means free market. Government's role, government's role in the economy was to promote competition by destroying monopolies and special. So they thought that uh, they thought that uh, uh, that destroying monopolies should be the only thing. In keeping with this philosophy, philosophy, sorry, philosophy of limited government, Democrats also rejected the idea of the moral beliefs were the proper sphere of government action. Okay, it's very, very strong. Religion and politics, they believe, should be kept clearly separated, separate, and they generally oppose humanitarian legislation. Okay, they, they thought that religion shouldn't be uh, mixed up with politics, which, which is something. Is there any word, please? Can you put all the words that you're understanding there in the chat box? So we have, can you send us the file? Okay, I'm sending the file right now. But, it, you, but any word that is not clear, anything, you know, if you say, I, I don't understand the word was, no problem, I'll explain that to you. Okay, despite, okay, despite means a pesar, despite means a pesar. Eh, despite, de a pesar de que Andrew Jackson era inclinado a ser un strong president, Democrats, as a rule, believe in limited government. Okay, so that's something. Okay, so if anybody has a question, so please, uh, can we have another person who didn't read? Uh, can, uh, I don't know, probably Michelle or uh, Michelle. Michelle, did you read? I don't know. Or can you read? Yeah, yeah. Okay, can you read, please? Uh, where? You're from the weeks, the weeks. The weeks, in contrast, you and government positive. Sorry. No problem. Uh, government promoting the general welfare 
but beyond the economy. In particular, wheat in the northern section of the United States also believe that government power should be used to foster the moral welfare of the country. They were much more likely to favor social reform, legislation, and aid to education. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. So we have, I guess, a question right now. We have a question, welfare. Okay, welfare, that's a very great question. But we have the weeks in contrast, viewed government power positively. They believe that it should be, so weeks saw that government should be powerful, you know, and they believe that it should be used to protect individual rights and public liberty. Okay, that's something that they wanted to protect, the uh, individual rights. And that it had a special role where individual efforts were infected. By regulating the economy, the economy and competition, the government could ensure equal opportunity. Indeed, for weeks, the concept, the concept of government promoting the general welfare, uh, bienestar, went beyond the economy. In particular, weeks in the northern sections of the United States also believe that power and power should be used to foster. Foster means promote promote the moral welfare uh, the bienestar moral of the country. Uh, they were much more likely to favor social reform legislation and aid to education. So uh, they thought that uh, the weeks very basically sound like the Democrats today, you know, that the, the government should regulate so that Everybody has equal opportunity. And uh, very basically, uh, they should, uh, they were in the northern sections. Like right now, the Democrats, you have the states of Massachusetts and everything else are Democrat. And uh, they are, they are more affluent. They are more affluent. And by being more affluent, they are more, let's say, empathetic to the people, you know, and they wanted to foster moral welfare. It's like they really, it's not like in here, uh, in, uh, in, in South America. In South America, you have a government that uh, very basically, okay, so we have that. We have that. And this is uh, in effect, in effect. In fact, the, uh, it's the same. Okay, so very basically, that's everything else. So we have uh, foster, promote, promote promote okay so we understood everything let's infer something okay so sorry so uh, we have which of the following can be inferred from paragraph five about the variation about variation in political beliefs within the weak party they were focused on issues of public liberty they weren't they weren't focused on that they got some members to leave the weak party doesn't say that doesn't say that and they were unimportant to most weeks. Uh, it's not in there. And they reflected regional interest. That's the answer why, because it says that uh, that the, 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 so we have variation. So it's in here, it's the last paragraph. The weeks view government passes. They believe that it should be used every day. Everywhere. Okay. So, where do we talk about variation in here in particular? Because it says that in particular, weeks in the northern section they also believe that government should be used to pass it. Okay. This is a variation because you have right now the weeks and you have between or among the weeks, you have two sections. You have the the people from the north and the people from the south, okay, in the, among the weeks. And in the north, they believed that the U.S. government should uh, foster more welfare, meaning that they believed that the government should uh, very, very basically pay for, I don't know, uh, programs uh, so that you can help the poor, I guess. And uh, I don't know, 
uh, improve or enhance education. So that's that's the difference, and that's why we have this. So the the answer in here comes only in the last in the last part. You know, you, you don't really need to you don't really need to to view everything. So we have right now we have these purpose or function questions. So uh, why certain information detects one not not very frequent relate the question to the overall picture why does the author use the word x uh it's not very frequent it's not very frequent, meaning that you don't have many of these questions so it's like these questions let me show you why does the author use this text so i don't know where it is but you probably will find something here it starts with why. Let's see, as we said, there are not as many, you know, as we would like. Here you have one, this one. Why does the author mention? This is a purpose, meaning uh, why, why, tell me why, you know, like the song, tell me why. Uh, why does the author mention carbon dioxide in the passage? why so we have in here why does the author mentions uh, uh, why does the author use the word luckily in mentioning that the ambulocytus fossil, fossil included in the legs okay so we have in here a passage that it's uh, from uh, i don't know from a lot of time ago but uh, it's very basic. You know, let's uh, let's see. So uh, we we would read this, but I don't know. It's like a, I don't know. Uh, but it's uh, this type of question. So why why? So let's uh, I don't know. Let's read it. Okay, we have uh, we have five minutes. So uh, who in the class didn't read? Okay. So we have Ricardo. Can you please read? Ricardo, can you please read from here? Even and even more exciting. And even more, please recap. Okay, I don't know if Ricardo is listening. Are you listening, Ricardo? Hello? He isn't listening. I don't know. Let's see, Ricardo. Ricardo, are you listening? Ricardo, let, let's let's write Ricardo so that he, he he believes that we are, I don't know, we are uh, we're talking to him. So, uh, Ricardo, can we read? Let's see how he reacts. You know, let's see. Yes, yes, oh. I can read. Oh, okay. I was talking with my parent. Sorry, sorry. No, no problem, no problem. <laughs> I was I was just kidding. Let's let's start. Yes, uh, where, where? From an even more exciting place. Uh, uh, where is it? Can you please? Uh, Here, from. Uh, can you read it? It's not a. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, an, even, an even more exciting find was recorded in 1994, also from Pakistan. The now state, well, and Ambulcetus, Ambulcetus, mm -hmm. the walking well that swim, live in the, oh, I can really read that. Tethys C, Tethys C, no problem. The is Yeah. C, uh, 49 million, million years ago, it lived around 3 million years after but nine million years before Basilosaurus. I think they are dinosaurs. Yeah. The fossil library includes includes a good portion of the hind legs. The legs were strong and ended in long feet, very much little those of a modern hymnid. The legs were certainly functional both on blood and at sea. The well retained a tail and racket and fluke. The major means of locomotion in modern 
Cutscenes. The structure of the backbone shows, however, that an Ulocephus is one like modern whales by moving the rear portion of its body up and down. Even though a fluke was missing, the large hind legs were used for propulsion in water, in water on land, where it probably bred and gave birth. Ambulocetus may have moved along very much like a modern sea lion. It was undoubtedly a well that linked life on man with life and sea. Okay, thank you very much. So, so we have a very, very, we have a very, very strong uh, passage. And the question is very basically, why does the author use the word likely mentioning in here? The fossil likely includes a good portion of the hind legs. Uh, of course, uh, we are talking about a fossil and the fossils and the things that are from the earth and the, I don't know. So they say that it, they luckily, meaning like por suerte, tenía una gran parte de las piernas. And why? Because they, the fossil legs of early world are rare to find. No, because it provides important information about the evolution of Cetaceans. This is from Cetaceo, it's from the Nemo movie, if everybody remembers Cetaceo. So the discovery uh, allows scientists to reconstruct this. No, that's not the, the answer. Until that time, only different legs of early whales have been discovered. So we have very, very strong things that we are really remembering. So we'll have, uh, uh, from all the decks that we had, we are finishing the class. Uh, the video will be in there. 